Hey guys, Gunshy Mora here with another video on the creature submissions for 2023. And it looks like we got ourselves some contenders here that have pushed themselves into the lead. Now, last time we looked at this, the Gorgonop side was in first place, all right? It was in first place by, I think it was at 500 something. Now, now we have the Ak Ak Antikaratis Bela, the Bastion Beetle, has forced its way into first gunning itself up here as quick as it can and i'm honestly going to tell you guys this thing looks awesome so it only came out a day after the gorgon nops i did but more and more people have found it i kind of wish i scrolled down more to go find this thing because it is incredible all right it's just amazing like there's so much detail that has gone into this i mean they've even here i'll scroll that like there's so much stuff they've even come up with their own armor for this all right i don't think wild card's gonna go all out and give us the armor like we want but we can hope we can hope i mean it's like look there's like even a cannon saddle they got for it. But yeah. We're gonna go quickly cut back here and we're gonna where's my we're gonna go actually read the entirety of this. See you. Get ready. Cause it's about to begin. Okay, so starting out, uh Torcha Jack Torchu Jack here is not the original poster of this. Survivor Santiago 99 is who posted it on the Fenyordor submissions. Though he this guy did post the Desdemona's Bad apparently as well. Um, but yeah. So the common name he wants for this is the Bastion. So it's gonna be known as the Bastion Beetle. Uh the age is oil. Gonson, I had some time temperance. Um, its diet's gonna be omnivorous, which is a nice thing to find. It's temperate neutral. Um, and in the wild, a friendly of mine, a friend of mine, used to tell me when you fell. I'm dyslexic as fuck. friend of mine used to tell me when you feel the sky to start to vibrate and a deafening fluttering sound invades the area you are in alrighty so this goes into where to find them so it says that they're going to spawn in swamps plains um prairies and and in forests apparently so they're going to kind of spawn in a wide variety of places across the maps um, adults cannot be domesticated, only the babies. You're going to have to search in rotted logs. You can find their larvae. Their domestication will be passive. You will find them in different sizes as the Kiruka. But beware that in the larva stage, they... S they secrete a... Susub they... Sus they... They... Sus Secrete a substance that attracts ants using them as their guardians. And not only that, if they are if there is a stronghold of adults nearby, I guess that's what a group would be called, a stronghold, they will not hesitate to attack you. For insects, these col colotropids come in with a protective instinctive protective instinct towards their young if it manages to invade the if you manage to evade the adult they they uh it's typos i'm guessing that probably is a translation to english so that's what's tripping me up is i'm trying to read this through my mind is trying to add the words in but I'm trying to also make sure I'm not messing up. So I'm going back 
as I'm reading and making sure I'm not messing up words. And then I'm finding out, yeah. If it manages to evade, immediately isolate the larva you want and offer it tree sap, fungal wood, I'm guessing, funka wood, cactus sap, honey, or vegetable cakes. These last two are the best options for better taming. So honey and vegetable cakes are the best option. I'm guessing that this is tree sap, fungal wood. I'm guessing he accidentally hit a C there in cactus sap. All right, and now down here to tame once it is yours, it will eat only wood, fuka wood, funka wood. I wonder what, if that's going to be like something new. Maybe funka wood. Because it, I don't know. I don't know if, like, maybe he made a typo twice. Cactus sap, tree sap, vegetable cakes. Also, it will be the first baby creature you can put on your shoulder immediately. Only temporary because its growth will be slow. Shoulder larva skills. Offer, offer it organic polymer and it will be an insect repellent that will help you in caves and tame insects okay so this would like with organic polymer in it it would just be like a as a baby it would be it even said it here a bug repellent generator i am so tired today i mean it's nine o'clock at night and i just hopped on to look so <laughs> i saw this was up um the hatchling gives off a deep smell to human noses. This will help you not to fall asleep if you have torpor. Okay, so it gives off like a smelling salt effect so you won't fall asleep with torpor. I'm wondering if it is to a certain point. I'm wondering if like with it on you, it will raise the limit before you pass out. Instead of like it making it completely nullify it like say instead of making it the small amount that you get say like all right at half torpor you'll pass out you know it's like at some point it's just too much the larva's acute sense will help you find scout notes or ruins remember to give it give it give it its care if it wishes Caruses. Okay, I'm I'm going with that this is translated into English. And that's why there's so many typos. It's just auto-translate sucks. The larva of the bastion beetle will have a stay of joy. This will help the larva grow faster to reach the pupa stage. To keep it happy, it must receive careness. For certain times, otherwise its capacity will be annulled and it will have it will not have a benefit or fa a fast growth. Okay, so I'm guessing then if they do do it the way that he has it set up in this is that you could have it on your back, all right? But every now and again you got to take it off and you got to like say pet it or imprint it in some way to increase the speed that it grows okay so eventually so this is gonna be like i wouldn't say baby i would say adolescent okay this is its adolescent stage is probably when it's gonna be able to be on your back so once it's out of adolescent and infant to juvenile i'm guessing it's gonna somewhat kind of be like the reaper growth where it's going to change a form from the larva into more like the beetle i'm guessing if we go down we'll probably have yeah we got a chart here down more that we can look at here's a diorama of it on the shoulder so i've kind of always wanted like a snake shoulder pet that you could have wrapped around like that so i never suggested a creature because i thought it I could probably just get it modded in at some point with a commission. So if I ever feel like that needs to be a creature, I can always do it that way. But yeah. um, K. 
Okay, now when it reaches its pupil stage, it will grow it will grow exclusively where it needs a lot of attention and ample space because of this this stage it will start to grow a lot and you will see sexual dimorphism okay so i'm guessing as babies they'll look exactly the same but then again as it has here it's gonna have either a horn or no horn kind of like actual beetles would have okay also i tell you mate the bastion will have a long mature time to become an adult almost match the growth like the large mount matching the growth like the large mounts what can i tell you metamorphism is not easy at all okay so i don't know how they would do that then because it's going from this larva and it's got it kind of as this ball here and it's just and then pops into that so i guess it could do it that way i mean it's arc i guess they're not going to like make a bubble around themselves so that way you can't see them change it's just gonna they'll find a way they'll code away i'm not going to dig too much deeper into that um but then we got some stuff here for while they're tamed when it finally becomes a beetle it will be able to be fed with fruits and meat so we'll eat berry and meat omnivore of course as well, you as well, you can use it without a saddle. Again, I'm cal I'm just again. It's a t it's a weird spelling. On land, it will be somewhat slow, but it would. But with one of the best weight reductions, water is its worst enemy. Have you seen a non-aquatic beetle in water? Very clumsy, and its wings get wet, being impossible wet being impossible to fly but in the air it will be one of the most maneuverable flying flyers because like gr like the griffin it can fly backwards but it but in a better way i keep on saying it a bit slower wherever you want it to stay flying your bastion that's where it will stay. Okay. And then they got a diorama here of its wings spread out. Also, I'm sorry if you guys can't understand my reading. I suck at it. I really do. I will own up to it, though. Okay. General buildings. Ground flap on the ground. It, ground flapping. On the ground, it will flap all small enemies around. Oh. I can't read. I'm trying to... On the ground, it will fling all small enemies around it by spreading and flapping its wings like a wyvern. Okay, so it will, like, rear back and flap. Aerial grab while flying. He can grab medium and medium-large creatures. He is a large-scale beetle. Of course, he can carry dinosaurs. Carry large dinosaurs. Walk like a god. Both can climb and cling to any kind of surface okay so basically just like a rock drake or uh what are they called i can't remember them right now i'm so tired i'm just reading through this and decided to do it so i can get like first reactions but it's also probably the worst possible time to do it passive 75 oh so these are its passive ability 75 percent weight reduction it will keep the same speed even if it's at the weight limit. Okay. Ballistic damage reduction, 25%. Radiation resistance, nice. I would hope that they would add in a aberrant version of it then. Maybe. Who knows? Weaknesses, extreme fire damage, vulnerable to Genesis 2 net. Extreme damage to tech turrets. Okay. Uh, brutal... Territorial strength, blah, blah, and then it's like giving us what it, what they want it to look like, I'm guessing, or what the beetle could do. Melee duel between males, there will be, will be a fighting system with their horns. The stronger one will defeat the other 
by ramming and charging him. Perfect for tournaments. Okay, so... That'd more make it like, say, the males of this species would have a charge. And... Because I just read this. The males dueling perfect for tournaments. That's more of like, only the male would have a charge ability that could probably do damage or, or knockback to enemies. But this wouldn't be like something you would see in the wild. Pursuit. If there is another non-allied flyer near the bastion, he will receive a 15% more speed and endurance. Last breath. When he is at a quarter of his... Of the life, he releases pheromones that cover him completely, giving him a short period of time, a 90% reduction to damage received that could cloud an enemy's vision. Okay, this probably not 90%, but yeah. So it's going to be like kind of a getaway strategy. Ugh, sorry, I'm yawning. The Bastion is a beetle that can carry more than a hundred times its own weight, although the female is stronger than the male. Ooh, abilities of the female. Okay, so these were male abilities. Yeah, it's even marked out. So then it's even got what the horn could look like. Female abilities, strong bite when it with its powerful powerful take a small or medium sized creature, but with a considerable lower range like the male. So wait, can they not fly like the male then? I'm guessing I'm guessing this is all round general, then these are like separate ones. Um Strong bite, blah blah blah, low range unlike the male. Archer Archer, whatever. With her jaw she will be able to make take any structure from your base to move them to another place okay architect all right then we got the female passive tough as steel when the female is at half health she will receive a 50 percent damage reduction 50 percent damage resistance okay um i don't know why you didn't just give it the same as the male they're the same piece species <laughs> i'm not gonna go into it but yeah it should probably just be the same as the male with the same ability. Um, then you get the flea when directly attacks, she releases pheromones that slow the enemy very briefly for three second period. So why not just combine these two, keep the 50% and ditch the one that you had up here for the males, the last, the last breath. Cause it, it just seems a little much, you know, to have different. So maybe this, these two seem more compliant. Okay. Then we got Bastion of War. I'm guessing this is... More stuff? What does the mount offer in general? Light thrusters using the gasoline as fuel. Uh, when you... You will... You will have to descend enough speed... Descent enough speed on the map. Flashlights, blah blah blah. So, they got like a normal saddle here, unless this is the tech one. Um, but it looks like you would have two people sitting in it. So, you got a front seat gunner. Then you got a rear gunner with a turret. Um, then you scroll down more. And it's the same thing. Two, two seat setup. But it goes from mini guns to tank cannon. And to be honest with you, I feel like that would probably be better, wouldn't it? The tank cannon. Oh wait, they're two different variant, two different saddles for the two different. Okay, um, I don't know how they would do this differently, but yeah. So for the males, he has it where it's mini guns up front, so and like headlights, and then you got the female where it's a tank cannon, and it shoots. Then he does also have some. New items here, the Bastion Exoskeleton, which is the one of the hardest in the arc. Okay. So it's just kind of like riot gear made that's been reinforced with scales from the Bastion Beetle. And here's what he has like added to it. So it actually gives you like debuffs and all that stuff for wearing them. 
Um, then it's got like the utilities that you could use in PvP and PvE. And taming wise, like with the cannon, I'm guessing that would be great for taming the rock elementals and the Karakos. The giant, uh, what are they? The giant crabs. But anyways, that is the new leading dinosaur for the ARC 2023 creature vote. I'm going to just say this, though. He is a beast. I'm definitely going to save this, make sure I have it. Just so that way I can make a thumbnail. But anyways, this has been Gunshine More, signing off.